Welcome to Sew Anastasia. Today we are going to be sewing a bow tie, particularly a buffalo plaid bow tie. And yes, it does match me. I am in my buffalo plaid sand dress. Okay, so I didn't do a pattern tutorial for this because I felt like it was pretty self-explanatory. Um, you can trace out a bow tie, you can buy a bow tie pattern from the store, um, or you could even email me and I bet I could email you one. Um, so well, I want you to cut this out first. I also want you to cut out interfacing. So you're going to cut out four pieces of the bow tie with four pieces of interfacing. Um, so, once you have that, I want you to iron that interfacing to it, and you're going to look something like this, and you're going to have four of these. Okay, so I have all four of my bow tie pieces ironed with the interfacing, and now what you want to do is right sides together, and we are going to sew around the edges a quarter of an inch. So let's put those right sides together. And then this will be the right and the left side of the bow tie, if you can imagine that, so that it will end up like this eventually. Um, so now let's just start at the skinny end and sew all the way around a quarter of an inch. And the hardest part is going to be your corners and your curves. Okay, so now that we've sewn our two bow tie ends, um, we want to flip the edges so we can turn them inside out and iron them. Um, so what you want to do is clip off your corners. And then you want to make sure that you clip into your curves. And particularly where it indents right here, you want to make sure you clip into that a bunch so when you turn it inside out, it's really nice and smooth. And it has a good point. into that. And now on our big curves here, um, like the big hump, we are going to clip that as well. Some people like to like do little V cutouts, which you can do to release the fabric. Um, or sometimes I will just snip into it. Um, I'll show you on the next one the two different ways that you can do that. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to clip it with taking out chunks of fabric. You want to make sure that you do not clip into your stitches, otherwise your entire bow tie will fall apart. So see how I'm actually taking little chunks of fabric out? So when you turn it inside out, this is just going to get rid of some of the bulk that's in there, and it's going to help it lay smoother. So if you want, you could try one this way, you could try one just clipping into it, and then that way you could see a difference. Okay, so you want to take your Dritz 3 8 uh, blue tube and your fake sushi stick, and we're going to take the blue tube and put it into the bow tie. And you want to get it all the way to the end. So you can see that's in there. And now you want to take your sushi stick and you want to find the hole in the end of that blue tube and you very carefully want to push it into it. Sometimes I'll turn it upside down and push it on the table. Um, you want to make sure this process happens smoothly and you don't want to push that stick through the end of your fabric, um, which can happen. That'll also happen if your seam allowance isn't big enough. So make sure your seam allowance is sturdy enough. And then just kind of keep working that down the stick like that. Sometimes it gets a little tough. And then look, we have our blue stick again. Um, it, but now we lost our sushi stick. Where did our sushi stick go? It's gone. Um, but it's in our bow tie. 
So you're going to use the end of your stick to push out the corners of your bow tie. Make sure they're nice and pointy, but also don't push them too hard so that they don't pop out. Um, again, if that's happening to your seam allowance, probably isn't wide enough. Um, remember, we sewed this at a quarter of an inch. Okay, so now we have our sushi stick back out, and you have a crumply bow tie end. So it should look something like this. And uh, we only have a few steps left. So next we are going to iron these nice and flat, and then we are going to put them on our slides, and then we're gonna tie up a bow tie. Okay, so we want to make sure we make our bow tie nice and flat. You wanna make sure that your edges are popped out and not sandwiched inside. Um, so that way you have a nice, accurate bow tie. Going to flip this over, make sure it looks good on both sides. So sometimes you can take your fingers and like roll the seam, and then that will pop it out as well. Because you do not want that sandwiched in there. I like to use a lot of steam. Steam it up, a little facial action. Keeps it looking young. There we go. And uh, now we got our bow tie. Okay, so now we are going to put on our slides and the bow tie so that we can adjust the neck measurement because not everyone has the same size neck. Um, so you can also do different types of closures for them. You can do a button and a buttonhole. You could do probably like some looking eyes. Um, I chose to use like sliding, um, I don't even know what you call these. Sliders, I chose to use sliders basically. Um, so technically they're like bra sliders or you can get them in any uh, width. So if you're doing a wider bow tie or a skinnier one, um, so to make sure you buy the appropriate size and then make sure too that you take into account that the bow tie is gonna be thick. So you might wanna go up one size so there's enough room in it. Um, so the best thing I can tell you for this is when you fold the fabric around it, kind of think about, or look at a bra even, the way the uh, elastic is looped around the slide and how it still slides up and down, because it can get fairly confusing. Um, so look at your bra. So you can kind of see how this is looped over and through. So the one on the left is going through the slide, around and under the other slide, and then we're gonna sew it down. So same thing for the other side, it's going over the slide and then it goes under the slide on the other side. So if you can remember over in the beginning and under in the end, then your slide will actually slide back and forth. So I'm going to uh, just sew this down with the straight stitch machine. Um, you can also use a zigzag machine so you can kind of finish the edge while you do it. Um, you could also hand sew this as well. So let's do that and then let's try it on. Okay, so I have successfully made a bow tie. So you will have two ends that look symmetrical. And now I am ready to wear it with my matching uh, buffalo plaid top. So check it out. I totally tied the bow tie on the first time, which I am so excited about. And I know it matches my top, but imagine how awesome this bow tie would look with a denim top. It would look super rad. So get sewing. And let's sew a lot of more bow ties. So thanks for watching Sew Anastasia. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, keep on sewing. Make sure you like our channel to check out all of our other awesome videos. And make sure you give our video a thumbs up.